How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to show you how to tighten a Joby Gorilla Pod without any tools. Now I think this method will work for practically any camera, but I do have a DSLR version of the Joby. This is one of the more durable ones. I actually have to upgrade to this one because I used to have one version lower for the Micro Four Thirds version where the little ball things were actually plastic. And using it for about a week or two, they eventually broke off. So I'm like, okay, I'll get the more heavier duty version. So this DSLR version has metal little ball things. And so even though I'm using a Micro Four Thirds camera, I'm using a DSLR version because this one is a lot more durable. Yes, it is more expensive, but it's required for me to use this. Otherwise, it would just keep on breaking. So normally you have this little end plate thing, right? And you think you just screw it on the bottom of the camera like this, and you basically position it the way you want it. And then you go, okay, I'm gonna use this little flap thing. And then you can tighten this further with a coin. But no matter how tight you screw this on with a coin, there's not enough leverage in order to get this tight enough. So if you have this on like this, and then you carry this around all day, what I've noticed is that this would actually come loose, I don't know, three, four times a day. And it's really, really annoying because every time it comes loose, you've got to go, okay, I got to go back down here and, and kind of tighten it a little bit more, right? So if you're out and about and you have a coin to tighten this, it's not tight enough. Sometimes if you have a giant screwdriver, yes, that may work and you don't want to carry a giant screwdriver around. So this is the method I found out works really well. What you do is turn this counterclockwise one eighth of a turn and then you tighten it as much as you can with your hands. You don't have to tighten it super tightly. And then with it turned this way, you tighten it, okay? And then what you do is hold on to the camera body. Don't hold on to the lens because you don't want to put pressure on that mechanism over there. Just hold on to the body over here. And then you grip on to the Joby thing. And then, well, you have to tighten this so that you can turn it. And then you tighten it that way. So you can see now it's very, very tight. And uh, if you come back out and try to unscrew this, it's basically, you know, you can't do it with your hand. You gotta like just use this as the tool to tighten everything. So now it's super tight and this is tried and tested. I've carried this around for a whole day. It might come loose maybe once and it is a lot more manageable and this way of tightening it is the way to do it. I'm surprised that Joby doesn't have like some sort of instruction manual to tell you how to tighten it this way. So that's it for how to tighten this Joby Gorilla Pod. If you guys are interested in this durable version of this Joby Gorilla Pod, even if you have a Micro Four Thirds version, don't get that one. Get the more durable one, otherwise the legs are gonna fly off because it's made out of plastic. So check out my affiliate link for this product down in the video description below. Don't forget to give me a like. Comment down below, let me know if this little hack will help you tighten it. I know it really frustrated me for quite a long time before I figured out how to do this just on my own. Don't forget to push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching.